Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to this year's Mega Easter Taste Test. This is the time of year where I go out to the shops and I find what I think are the most exciting Easter products. So I'm going to get started with this, which is a simple looking chocolate bar, but it's from Lint and I like that it's got the Easter theme. Basically, instead of getting your gold Lint bunny, you get it in chocolate bar form, but I'm hoping it's going to have this beautiful design inside. It looks quite classy and it looks like something that you would get an adult for Easter. Although I am still partial to the bunnies that they have, the gold covered bunnies. I love those. Comes in cardboard. Okay, I'll get it out in full so you can look at it. What's it? Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at this. That is absolutely gorgeous. It says lint on the top of it, and then it's got little a storyline here of different bunnies. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but it is still just basically lint, basically lint chocolate. I freaking love chocolate. Just comes in beautiful little pieces like this, which you can easily, yeah, that easily snaps off. Mm -hmm. I love a lint chocolate. It's really good quality, smooth, melts really quickly. Mm, mm. This one is a really cool idea for Easter. I love the design of it. It's delicious. Next up, I've got two different little tiny baby eggs, and these are both from Dara Lee. This one's a Lifesavers one, and it's in combination with musk lollies. These are musk lollies for those of you who aren't familiar with them. They're like a powdery, but really soft, super sweet candy. If you're in the UK, they taste a little bit like the dolly mixture that you have. I hope they're in pink foil wrapping. Yes. Okay, they did not disappoint. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah, you can actually see the little pink musks already in there. Mmm, mmm! Oh, it's ridiculously sweet, and I love it. Mmm, I wasn't expecting to like it quite this much. The musk actually has a little bit of a crunch, like those crunchy musk lifesavers, and it works really well in the combination with the milk chocolate, a little bit like, you know, those freckles that you get? You know how you like that crunch with the chocolate? That's what it reminds me of. Really tasty, I'm happy with these, delicious. The second lot of hunting eggs is Cocoa Pop Easter Egg. Cocoa Pops are like the crunchy breakfast cereal, and they go all chocolatey. I used to love Cocoa Pops as a kid, and I would only have them if I was staying over at a friend's place because we weren't allowed them. What colour is it? Oh, right, okay, it's brown, which I'm happy about. That goes with the Cocoa Pops theme. Mmm, mmm. Very chocolatey, mmm. It tastes very chocolatey and occasionally you get a little bit of a crunch in there. I wouldn't necessarily bite into it and go, wow, it tastes those Cocoa Pops, but the flavour works really nicely. I like that little bit of a crunch in the texture of these ones. I mean, this is what they look like on the cover and that's what my one looks like there. So you can't really see necessarily the Cocoa Pops in there very much, but you can taste them and it's really chocolatey and delicious, just like you'd expect. I am not disappointed with these ones. I like these ones as well. Yum. And the chocolate's pretty good too. Mmm. I shouldn't have eaten the whole one because I'm about to have a lot more chocolate. I'm a little bit concerned about this next one. I deliberately went out and got it though because this one is vegan and free from dairy, gluten, egg and nuts. So it's, it hasn't got any of those things in it which usually makes something delicious in my opinion. It's called Nomo Bunny. He looks very cute on the cover and I hope he's cute inside too. Oh no, I think he's... No, he... Oh, far out. It's a Picasso bunny, as you can see. He's gotten really melted. Oh, wow, he's had a really hard life. It looks like he's crawling along the ground, screaming out for help. Help me! This is what he's supposed to look like, and mine looks like this. Mind you, though, I did actually order these online. I got a lot of these things from Big W, and the reason is because price comparison to my local supermarket, we're speaking like dollars, dollars cheaper. So Big W was a lot cheaper but i've got these dara lee eggs here right and this one was six dollars and in my local supermarkets it's eight dollars so that's a lot yeah and these here oh sugar sorry and these here these cost me six dollars and once again they're eight dollars in my local supermarket so ripped off ripped off if you're going to get extra products make sure you shop for a bargain and um yeah make sure you get one of these because it just looks gorgeous let's try it oh um. I mean, mm, an alternative to regular... Wait, this has got a feeling in it. <laughs> I 
Oh, but what is he? Oh, is that right? He's a cookie dough inside, apparently. So that's what I'm eating right now. And I'm not really liking him very much. He's okay. I think it's quite a good alternative to chocolate. Because if I got given this and wasn't told it was a normal... No, I still know. I don't mind the creamy cookie filling in this one. The chocolate's... It does taste like it's missing a few things. But good alternative for those people who can't have regular chocolate. And I'm sure it looks usually a lot cuter than this. I can't resist these any longer. These are new from Daryl Lee. And I had to get them because look at how gorgeous they are. They've brought out two new flavours this Easter. This one is milk chocolate raspberry flavoured hundreds and thousands thousands because that's what we call sprinkles here in Australia and this one here is a milk chocolate minty hundreds and thousands so let's try the raspberry one first there oh it's falling apart sprinkles are coming off it trying not to spill it everywhere it's almost impossible all right oh yeah how gorgeous is this I'm going to be cleaning up sprinkles till next Easter it's quite heavy and uh, oh oh no it's not waking. Mm. I can taste those hundreds and thousands, and they do have a very raspberry flavour to them. It's quite nice, actually. Mm. How do you get into it? Oh, mmm. Mm. Mm. This is very, very messy, but it's really delicious. I'm really liking that raspberry flavour with the milk chocolate. I love the crunch of the sprinkles on it. Mm. Kids would love this. They'd absolutely love it, but I'd send them outside with it because it's friggin' messy. <laughs> That one's really good. So let's look at the minty one. So beautiful. Just very, very carefully lift this up. Oh, no, this isn't, oh, this isn't, oh, serious. <laughs> How beautiful is it? <laughs> it's not easy to get into. Oh, kind of got to gnaw away at it for a while. Oh. Lovely minty taste of those sprinkles, yum! Mmm! Oh, As I get older, I think I'm liking and appreciating mint more and more. And I like the mint one better than the raspberry one. The combination of the milk chocolate with the mint is really nicely done and it's so fun. Keeping with the mint theme, I have up next some Cadbury Dairy Milk Bunnies and they're bubbly mint. Bubbly mint bunnies, yum yum. Uh, there's six bunnies inside. I'm hoping that the bunnies are going to look cuter than that other one. Wasn't that a horror show? <laughs> Okay, so there they are. Oh, they're quite a decent size. That's like a full chocolate bar size. Ready? Oh, he's adorable. I love it. Oh, and he's leaking out the side. He's a lot cuter than what I thought he was going to be. He looks like he's up to something, though. <laughs> love it. Mmm, that's really nice. Mmm, mmm. Mm, I highly recommend these bunnies. They're delicious. They've got that fluffy mint center there like an Aero bar has that aerated sort of stuff. Beautiful dairy milk chocolate on the outside. Absolutely delicious. This one's a winner as well. I love it. Go buy yourself a bag of bunnies. Chocolate pie setting in. I had to get myself a big bunny and this is the one I chose this year. It looked like the most appealing to me. It's Cadbury Crunchy Bunny and I think I might have tried one of these in the past. I had to have another go because it looked adorable. The size is quite generous as well and here he comes. Ready? And uh, I don't know what it's going to look like. It's going to look cute. Oh yay! Yeah, he's really cool and he's quite a decent size too. I'm hoping for a lot of crunchy honeycomby bits in here. Mmm. 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 Yeah. I love chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna break his ears off because I'm mean. This is very tasty, but the actual crunchy pieces. A little bit ripped off. I expect chunkier bits of crunchy there. I'm not really getting that, but it still is very flavoursome. And he looks cute. He's good value. And bam, love you, buddy. Now, I left these two things to laugh because these are the fancy, expensive chocolates that I got for my taste test this year. And it's from Hags or Hags. I never know how to say it correctly. I feel like I should say it in a classier way, which would be Hags, but I think it's just Hags. When I go into Sydney, this is a shop I love to go to and 
splurge out on expensive chocolate because it isn't cheap let's face it i wouldn't be getting my kids this not that, not that i have kids well i have stepkids they're grown up but i wouldn't be getting my kids this chocolate i'd be getting them a dairy milk bunny because it's cheaper or a daryl Lee thing i got two products from them i wanted to get more but uh, i'd already bought other other chocolate i know because i need more chocolate <laughs> Yeah, I'm a disgusting beast at this stage when it comes to chocolate. And the first thing is this. I know, how cute are they? They look like little hot cross buns in chocolate form. And I couldn't resist them. I don't really know what's inside them, but that looks quite fancy, doesn't it? So this is a dark chocolate, and I'm thinking it's going to have like a spiced center, like a hot cross bun wood with fruits and stuff. Oh, how do you get this off? You break a finger and you can get it off. I mean, seriously, how beautiful are they? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. See, straight away, I can taste the quality difference in the chocolate. This chocolate is a lot richer, smoother. Mmm. I don't know what the feeling is. Don't you hate that? You're eating something and someone says, what is it? And you go, I don't know. I'd love to describe the filling for you. And um, I'm hoping that I'm going to work out what it is because I can eat something and not work out what it is sometimes. And that's the case we're having right now. It does taste like raisins a little bit. Or a, mm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a raisin. And it's like a fluffy, whippied up, chocolatey thingy in the middle there. It goes really nicely with the dark chocolate. It's a little bit too rich, in my opinion, with that filling. I mean, I'm still enjoying it, but I couldn't have too many at once. Yeah, these are super, super rich. I'm happy with it. Mm. And it does have the flavours of a hot crust bun. So well done. Really well done. But well, I'm really getting hot now, and I don't know if it's because I'm getting too chocolated. <laughs> I left this till last because this is the one I was looking forward to the most. Uh, although at this point though, I think I think I've had too much chocolate. I mean, I only have a bite of everything, but I still feel no, I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like my favorite out of everything. <gasps> ah, magic has just happened. Milk chocolate salted macadamia brittle egg from Hags. Hey, see, it is very adult-like the cover. Oh, it's. Gorgeous! I love a classic foil egg. I do because it reminds me of my childhood. Mind you, I only ever had the cheap chocolate when I was a child. Look at how gorgeous and glamorous this is. And this is exciting too. And I know you probably aren't excited by this, but I am. The egg itself is like that old fashioned sort of like crackly looking egg, not just the round one. Weirdly enough, I used to save the foil off my chocolate eggs when I was a kid and I played with it for hours. Oh, it is beautiful. Look at it. Hello. Uh, I mean, I feel like this one's already going to win. And it's quite heavy, which is nice. Oh, you can't smell it, but the chocolate smells incredible. I love Hague's milk chocolate. Delicious. There's no pretty way to get into one of these, is there? Hello? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Got a hole. Mm. Wow. Wow, I am so glad I left this to last because this is my favorite out of everything. And I've had some good things today, but this is so good. The chocolate quality is absolutely amazing. And you can see how thick that is as well. And then with a macadamia brittle, oh, mm, really sweet and really crunchy. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> I, this is my favorite. Mm. <laughs> so if you're an adult, go and get your partner one of these for Easter. They'll love you forever. You can win me over with food. <laughs> This is my favorite out of all of the taste tests today. Let me know in the comments below which of these looks like your favorite. A lot to choose from this Easter. Lots of good stuff. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this year's Easter taste test. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.